The other day my wife complained, I mean uh, <clears throat> noted and uh, pointed it out to me that the hair dryer is behaving strangely. It works fantastically well when it's switched on but after a few minutes it switches itself off even with being switched on it just turns itself off but if you put it down and leave it alone for a few minutes it turns itself back on and you can keep drying your hair again and until for a few minutes until again it switches itself off you have to put it down and let it cool or something for a few minutes and then it's good again so it kind of works but it's intermittently failing so she says it's not working right should we get a new one Oh no, in this video I'm going to explain what's wrong with the hair dryer, nothing, but I will explain what happens inside and what can be done about it that takes about five minutes to deal with and requires zero dollars of cost or investment on your part. So inside the hair dryer, of course there is a fan that circulates air, takes it in through this grill here and pushes it out on this side, blows the air, and there's this uh, nichrome wire coiled up inside that heats up the air as the air is moving through the dryer. So inside there's also a safety device that prevents overheating of this glowing, well it shouldn't glow in normal operation, but should this spiral heating coil overheat approaching a glowing temperature a small thermal breaker that automatically resets itself and opens the circuit when it overheats and an open circuit means that it's not working it has to cool down for a few minutes until the thermal fuse closes again and then it's fully functional current flows through it and the heating element can be heated again takes in air, blows, dries your hair until it overheats again. So why does it overheat? Why does the thermal fuse switches off and opens the circuit or switches on and off and on and off? Why does it cycle like that? The reason for it is because there isn't enough air flow through the device. That's why the heating element overheats in the first place. So it should be hot but it shouldn't be too hot. Should there be any hair or organic particles lint inside, it shouldn't nothing should catch fire inside and the plastic shouldn't melt. So it should blow hot air without burning your skin or without causing a fire inside. So if there isn't enough airflow through the device, then the uh, thermal fuse inside will open and the device will not run. Why isn't there enough airflow through it? Well people can cover it and hold it this way and then there is not enough airflow through the device that's uh, that's an easy one an easy fix don't put your hand here leave this grill alone and fix number two is visible maybe this way these are the small lint stuff that I pick out from the grill openings here with this pair of tweezers. It takes about three minutes to clean one side. I started here at the 12 o'clock and worked my way through to the 6 o'clock position on all of these holes. It looks like, whoa, there are hundreds of them. No, not really. In three minutes I was done with this half, the lower half. And if I get you a close-up, you can see tiny amounts of lint stuck everywhere. So these need to be, and I wanted to um, yeah, don't tell her my don't tell my wife here. But you know, I wanted a different uh, color for contrasting this. I will call it a scientific. I didn't just grab any rag. So this is how it goes. Every little hole needs to be cleaned because it's not going to clean itself. So that's why this takes zero dollars of investment on your part, and these little puffs of lint and whatever is stuck in here. Of course go in a pattern whatever if you like but this needs to be cleaned. It's not going to clean itself and the, re the, the holes are deep enough so the 
link may not be visible if you just look at it casually hey all the everything looks black and looks normal well not really so there will not be enough airflow if those are clogged up and then all this lint of course can be just vacuumed up very simply <laughs> blankets good as new but vacuuming doesn't vacuuming doesn't remove this stuff from here because it's adhering to a fine wire grill underneath that's difficult to see but you can maybe see and there you can maybe see through some of the openings parts of this fine fine wire mesh that's doing its job fantastically well keeping combustible material out from this area here where it can call it could potentially cause a fire so the lint here gets trapped here and uh, prevents a fire but it prevents airflow to happen as well so the thermal um, fuse overheats opens the circuit has to cool down switches on again so there's nothing wrong with the dryer there's nothing wrong with anything it needs to be cleaned end of story thank you very much for watching